Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Divinity Dragon Commander. I am the mistakeless alchemical rabbit. And the cause of all other mistakes is here with me, Atoli. Uh-huh. Indeed, we are going into battle. Okay. We must take on Faran. Let us begin. I'm actually really bad with the large battles, because I don't micro very well. I see. So... Well, then you're doomed. I am a little bit. That was a lot of guys. It's my army. I know it is. It's a lot of dudes. Alright, let us move out. Alright, we are going to grab, like, two hunters. Two hunters. Yep. They are going to redirect back here to secure this position. Okay. Meanwhile, start building up more recruitment citadels. Of course. The good thing is, is we have a choke point. Yes. Let the battle begin. Onward! Open fire! Big. I do generally think that is what happens when you uh, go to war. It is. There is a bit of death battling. Yep. <laughs> Alright, everyone move up. There's a ship coming over. That's fine. Yeah, I love traveling. These guys, attack the, attack the transport. Let's get this dance of death started. They will bring him down momentarily. Battleforge completed. I like that the bombers are just like balloons. bombing. Oh, they're balloons. I am here to help. Sure that it is. I really do feel like you have like a little bit of an unfair advantage. Possible. Possible. All right. So they are ah. Oh, they dropped all their uh, transports. Nope. They did. None of that. All right, let's wreck Destroy this. All right, so we begin the. the oh yes, um, troopers. By the way, are immediate now. Oh, that's nice. So we do that. You don't oh. have enough support. That's fine. I think we still have this. <laughs> well, considering he's down to, like, a sliver up there on that, like, meter at the top. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Even into, death. Even into death. Guys. We're losing the M-Fighters just because they keep running forward. No, that one M-Fighter. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, we got those. Let's go ahead and build a few shamans. Man's. All right, we're just gonna send them in because the uh, the ground troops should actually be fine. Yeah. Uh, we are going to go ahead and send the air force this way because they have so much anti-air. Yeah. Once we have that, open fire. <laughs> Look at all those little beams. Pew 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 pew. The pew, pew, the pew pew lasers are true. I was like, why is that building so huge? And then I remember this. It's is the capital. Yeah. And that is all of them. Careful with the birds. My health is fine. Okay. Remember, I regenerate. Right, right. Like, yes, they are hurting me, but even if remember, I don't like lose if I die. Right, I know. But don't you want to be on the battlefield when they finally take down the capital? I suppose. For the glory of the Dragon Commander! The Dragon Emperor. The Dragon Emperor. And the victory 
is ours. Woohoo! All right, first of the siblings is gone. Well, except for that one island where we... Who knows? Where, that, that... You, where you fucked up. Mm. <laughs> you have conquered the capital. He had two whole gold. Huzzah. He was not in good shape. Nope. nope. We, we win Indeed. that fight. Of course we do. Put one of your generals with him? Uh, let's just drop some mercenaries. Okay. Like that. Okay. Because... Really, this should not be this close of a fight, to be completely honest. Mm. Oh no! There we go. Yay! Alright, we have secured the mainland. Lizards, imps, and dead. Emperor abolishes arranged marriages. Just another way to consolidate to own power, says nobility. The imps didn't go down. Oppos they were at 80. I guess so. Opposition unhappy with Emperor's easy win. Falsified favoritism toward your Emperor. Free naked dragon poster inside. Damn right. <laughs> if I really want to decrease my... And Juggernaut Mercenaries. Not all elves may agree, but in my opinion you did a noble thing by outlawing arranged marriages. Well done, Commander. I outlawed arranged marriages after my arranged marriage. Mm. <laughs> I'd like to decapitate that Catherine witch and use her head for a cannonball. How dare she mingle with my affairs? You don't give daughters a choice. Of course, she won't marry that dear old Duke now. Oh, I could have mingled in the highest circles, owned a castle in the Gordian Glades. Damn the witch. Damn her. Ah, so it's because he doesn't blame me. He blames, he blames her. Trunculo. Trinculo. Trinky. Can I call you Trinky? Why? You're one of the advisors to the Emperor. You're like a senator. Yeah. How can you not mingle in the highest circles already? Also, how can you not own a castle in the Gordian Glades? Well, that's... that's I'll give you money for the Gordian Glades, okay? <laughs> as long as I can visit... I wonder what's going on in the bar. Probably Catherine being like, you did a good job. Commander, I wouldn't dream of marrying off my daughters at the age of 12. But to abandon political marriages altogether? That will okay. undermine a centuries old way of achieving increased social stature. They're not you yourself abandoning you political marriages now. altogether. I'm just saying that both sides need to consent instead of it just being like the dude being like, ah, oh, yes. I'll consent with your father to have you married to me. Hi, Hank. Your latest victory was all Thanks, Hank. What a splendid victory that was. So, uh, how do you think the conquest is going? Let's just say I've already been browsing for the most luxurious spots to retire to. Well, and if the need for warfare me, takes me, me, I'll buy some imps and have them reenact some of our most bloody fought battles. I love that idea. <laughs> Bravo, Commander. Your new law regarding the requirement of girls and women's consent to marry has caused a wave of enthusiasm among the populace. The romantic ruler is your latest subriquet. Ironic, wouldn't you say? That's a $10 word, subriquet. That is a $10 word. Ironic, yes. For of course you yourself haven't given up on your politically picked wife and went forth in pursuit of love. Such is the way of emperors. I mean, have I not, they considering I turned her mortal? Hardly practice. Like, she's not even really... Let's see, how is, how is the queen doing? We should we ask her. We oh, sorry, wrong Some button. Reserves, Commander, to see that they are dwindling fast. Well, I buy a lot of stuff. I therefore propose we cease to aid developing countries financially. Them greedy buggers can take care of themselves for a change. That... No. <sighs> Let's see what everyone thinks. To give away what one has a plenty to those bereft of riches is a duty commander as stipulated by the Seven. What Sir Fullstaff wants directly opposes that rule, and hence must not be accepted. Alright, so he's against it. Charity is one of the cornerstones of civilization, Commander. Don't let the dwarves hack it out of society's foundation. Alright, he's against it. I don't appreciate Suffolstaff's wording of his proposal, Commander, but I do agree with him. Philanthropy is the prerogative of peace. In times of war, it is war we need to invest in. I'm surprised. Why invest in poor people when you can invest in munitions factories? 
full staff's got the right idea. Okay, hold on. <laughs> so if we go for it, dwarves up, imps up. Undead up. Lizard up. Or yeah, sorry, if we go for it, yeah, dwarves yeah. up, imps up, lizards up. If I don't, then elves and undead go up. The other three go down. Uh, I'm a little worried because the lizards are low. They're not low. They're 65. That's not low. Under 50 is low. Okay, fine. Then I'm not going to go for it because I think you should invest in four people. So you will stop? I will not stop okay. sending financial aid to struggling nations. You're wasting the Empire's resources. I you know, really am. I'm just throwing money around. end up in a couple of fat officials' pockets. The populace doesn't even get a penny to divide between a hundred of them. I thought everybody knew that. All right, so there we go. That's been done. Uh, Research-wise, since I'm sitting on a crap ton of points, uh, I don't really want to do self-destruct. Could go... Hmm. Let's go for the Bunker Busters. Okay. I like the sound of bombs. Sounds good. Yes. So you'd think we'd be nearing the end of the game, wouldn't you? No. Oh, uh, why? I don't know. I feel like there's still a lot we can do. I'm just saying, like, but we've almost conquered everything. Yeah, but who's to say there isn't another map? Oh, I'm, I can't imagine there's another map. I mean, this really isn't that big of a map. Do uh, you think there's another map? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Hmm. Funny. It makes sense. I mean, three maps, right? I suppose. Rule of thirds. Yeah. Alright. Get on board. Get on board. What I'm going to do down here is I'm going to build another transport. Okay. I am also going to go ahead and build two hunters and a grenadier. Okay. This will be the force that invades this red island. Okay. To finally wrap that. Um, over here, we obviously made some mistakes. Some minor snafus, okay? Yep. Like... Minor snafus. Uh-huh. Just saying that... Make sure to offload them. Yes, they're offloaded. Okay. Do that, bring the ironclad in just to assist. Basically, this entire force will come in. Do we? Okay. Yep. Okay, so good. Actually, I think the cheaper one's the one that blew up. Oh, good. So we have hunters, we have another transport. For the sake of ensuring that we do hold the oceans when we do the sea invasion, mm -hmm. I want that. I am going to build a few more of these. We're going to need more transports. And let's go ahead and get a couple more healers. Okay. All right, so that's all we have the money for. Okay. So this ocean is now secured, which means I am safe, I think, to bring my armies this way. Okay. looking because this force is overwhelmingly unnecessary <laughs> indeed all right bomber balloons have made it imps have been redeployed uh this transport will load up with a couple of armors and we'll begin making its way make its way this way okay Now we're just bringing overwhelming power. Of course. Since, I Green's mean... It's really the only... Well, I don't know. Red may end up being tough. Like, that one island may suck. Well, what's going to end up happening is by the time that's done, all of these armies, I'm just going to redirect up. Fair enough. And that entire force is just going to roll them over. <laughs> that's the plan. We actually auto-resolve it. That's the plan, at least. Cool. I was just seeing if we had any cards to, like... I mean, I could just... Kill yeah. everyone on the island. You know what I'm gonna do? Decreases revenue by 100%? Yep. 
So we're just going to make sure that they never get to play... Um, they'll never get to play basically anything ever again. <laughs> Alright, so we got we got two Juggernauts here and a Juggernaut here. Yep. Bitch. Um, what? What? So dumb. What's dumb? That. I don't know what you're talking about. Alright, he's... You know, we're just going to keep this stuff outside, actually. Okay. Um, this island is going to be a concern as well, but also, once again, once we take out their capital, I'm not even sure if these extra areas will do anything. Right. No more money for you, Undead Island. Oh, look, his last unit. Oh, no. <gasps> he's reinforcing. He is reinforcing. Who would have guessed? See, he's still got a little bit of money left. Yep. She. She still has some money left. Let's see. We still got some time in this episode. Let's do it. All right. Is that the only battle? I think so. Okay. If they are, the others are Nate. Invade. No. If he did, he'd die. That's fair. Because he does not have the defense. He he does not have the forces he needs to push through my defenses. Indeed. Right. I mean, I requested bombs, but. No, no. We uh, said we weren't funding that. When? When Trinkolo was like, hey, we can use that money on, like, other stuff. Oh, no. Oh, nope. You mean when he wanted us to, like, dig up those graves? Yep. To get the, like, uranium? Egg Zactamundo. You can have other types of bombs. Nah. Yeah. Alright. So, I am going to bring the fleet to here. Okay. To make sure they don't throw some, like some BS at us. Yep. Destruction in progress. Recruitment Citadel. Good. They are just sitting there. Yeah, I know. I'm not even sure they actually have any AI now that they've their capital's gone. Oh, really? I don't know. Huh. It kind of looks like they may not. It does a little bit, doesn't it? Look, they're not moving. Yeah. They are building, though. Maybe they're actually playing it safe this time. Maybe. They're just gonna amass some giant army. It won't work, they aren't... Well, the thing is, to amass a massive army, uh -huh. you need to go out and grab resources. Right. And they aren't doing that. That's true. Like, huh. like I'm just gonna go ahead and build Juggernauts. And hit their coast. Right. This one lone island, they, they received word that their capital had been taken, and now they're so demoralized. Yep. I think not. Oh, he's got the stealth. My goodness. Shipyard completed. Your unit will roll out Two juggernauts on their way. Oh, they offloaded. Huh. If you really think this is our last resort. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> Alright. There, let's go up this way. Huh, that was just a really slow start. It was. And they are not going to win this. Nope. I mean, we got Dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts? Yeah. The big ones. Oh, right, right. You mean Juggernauts? Huh? Juggernauts, you mean? Juggernauts. Yeah, you said Dreadnoughts, like Warhammer. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> That's another type of ship. I think we have the naval advantage. Yep. I would agree. What are those butterflies? Or the ladybugs? Those are the Meet the Beetles. Oh. What are they? Uh, that's, um, when we get polymorphed. Oh, okay. Okay. These guys have such a huge range. Yeah, they do. We're just gonna use them to, uh, wrap this. Okay. Alright. That's dead. Yep. And you wanna talk about range, just that one ship. Oh, the, uh, yeah. And then we will go for a ground bombardment. Ground bombardment. 
and a ground bombardment. I like how you're just using ships to beat on them. Well, that's kind of how this stuff works, you know? Yep. How dare you! <laughs> He's trying. He's dead. Alright, let's just wrap. Like, these warlocks are actually mildly annoying. Yep. They're not doing a lot of damage, though. No, they're not. Do do do. And I'm back. Okay. Alright. Now we are going to go ahead and send them in. We will grab all of the transports. We will unload everyone on the beach. I feel like you forced them to have a water battle. Well, I'm just storming the beach is really all it is. I guess. Go, minions, go! Like, I mean, they're, they're well, like, fortified. Yep. This is true. Like, I'm not That's denying true. that. Yeah, no, they are actually doing a pretty decent job, I would say. All things considered. Considering they weren't moving for the first, like, five minutes. Yeah. yeah the problem is the number of those warlocks, uh -huh. they're, um... What, yeah, they're things? polymorphing everything and then getting taken out by the anti-air. Yeah. This is, like, the... This is the, uh... The last bastion. Yep. Of crazed fanatics swearing themselves under my... Brother. Idiot brother. Yep. The, your blade brother. Alright, seriously. Stop it. I'm just gonna start blowing these things up myself. Yep. Alright, enough of this. I think you may have it. I might have a victory. Yes. Yes, indeed. It's hard to say. No one really knows at this juncture. Well, there's no yellow on the bar. We're going to have to await feedback from our advisors. Oh. Wait to see what the newspapers say? Yeah. Then I mean, we lost some units. We lost some units. You did. You did. Like, I think we lost almost all of our land units. I didn't bother making any. But, you know. This is true. Yeah, see, we lost a few. Yep. We lost a transport. Oh, no. For... Alright, so he's gone now, right? He should like... be. Emperor, no more than a hypocrite, says Short Fuse. He'll marry a gutter pipe if it brings him power and fortune. Ah, Short Fuse, man. Who's Short Fuse? He's, he's the imp, Trunculo. Oh, Trunculo, okay. Tax money wasted on charlatan charities. Cash streamed to... Con to Con, con countries continues. I get it. Emperor mismanaging troops. Soldiers told to be pillaging and raping as if still in Dark Ages. Maxos uses tantric techniques to teach Dragon how to delay fireballs. That was not a good newspaper. Nah. That was very anti-us. Although we got a lot of cards. We did. Two less gold! No! Well done, Commander. The first of your dastardly siblings has fallen to your might. This victory will send terror leaping down the spines of your remaining opponents. Once more, we set an important step in the direction of victory. Bravo. Thanks. Thanks, dude. Thank you. I feel like it's been a while since we talked. It has been. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, see you, wizard. <laughs> he just walks off screen. He does. We will see you next time. I've been the Alchemical Rabbit. This is Benatoli. Thank you, and have a good day.